We'll guide you through how to play PS5 games on your Mac. If you find this guide useful, consider subscribing and liking the video. It's important to note that you do need to own a PS5 to do this, and you will need access to it while we set it up. And after we set it up, you can then go and play PS5 games on your Mac anywhere. So let's go and get right into this. Firstly, you need to go and open up a browser. So I'll just go and use Google Chrome. And then what you want to do is go and search for PS Remote Play. So you type that in like so, and then you can go and click on this one here, playstation.com PS Remote Play, and scroll down like this until you go and see the downloads. You can read all this info here, but I'm gonna go over most of it in this video. And we've got a uh, Windows PC and Mac, so then press Windows PC and Mac download. Then we can click on download and we can select Mac. And then you need to agree to this stuff here. I already do. And then tap download. And the download will then begin. So if every browser's downloads are going to be in slightly different places. So I prefer just to close my browser. Then I'll open up the downloads folder in my finder. You'll then have the remote play installer. So double tap on it like this. And we can then go and start the remote play install. So press continue. Um, it's going to take up this much space. You can change the install location. I personally won't and it's now installing. So you can sit back and wait. It's now finished. I'll then go and tap close and you can press move to bin. That's up to you. Open up PS Remote Play. So you can go and search for it in the top right by clicking on the magnification glass or go and open up your launch pad and you may need to swipe across. And here it is, PS Remote Play. So open it up and then what we need to do is go and sign into PSN. So click on it just here and then we'll need to go and sign in. Make sure you sign into the same PSN account as you use on your PS5. After you sign in, there's a few data settings you can change. So go and set them to ha however you want. This is just like a personal thing. It doesn't really matter what you choose. And then you want to choose what you want to connect to. So I want to connect to my PS5. So I'll click there. It then says before connecting to your PS5, there's a few things we need to do on the PS5 itself. So let's do them. On your PS5, go to the top right and go and open up your settings. You then need to go into system. And in system, you then go down to remote play. And what you need to do is toggle on remote play so the switch is on. If for some reason you can't go and turn on remote play, this is likely because this PS5 isn't your primary one. To go and change that, go back out of system and you need to go into users and accounts and then go down to other and in other, then go into console sharing and offline play, and you need to go and enable this. When you go and enable it, this will make it your primary console. Mine is already enabled, so I'll then just go click on don't disable, and then go back to remote play. So go back to the main settings, then system and remote play, and then turn it on. After you finish in remote play, you need to go into power saving, and then go into features available in rest mode, and then go and turn on stay connected to the internet while in rest mode. And after you've done that, uh, switch on enable turning on PS5 from network as well. So make sure those are toggled on. And we've now finished in the settings. And then what you want to do is just go to your PS5 home screen, press on the PlayStation button to open the control center, and then just put your PS5 into rest mode, because this means we can then go and turn it on using remote play. After you've done them, you can then go and click OK like this, and it's then gonna go and start the connection process. So firstly, it will say search for connections, so wait for it. Then less than a minute later, here we are in PlayStation Remote Play. So it may look slightly blurry to start with, but it will soon go and clear up and become clearer, but it will depend on your internet connection. And here we are. There are a few basic controls at the bottom of Remote Play, but what I prefer to do is go and connect my controller. So all you need to do is grab its cable, its charging cable, which your console came with, and then plug it in. So plug the USB into your Mac and then the USB-C into your controller. And just like that, I've now connected my controller to my Mac and I can use it in remote play. So then what I could do is go and get into a game, for example, Fortnite. Now it is important to note that you may experience a bit of latency. And what this means is basically sort of the delay from pressing a button on your remote to then actually doing something. And this will depend on your internet connection, but hopefully it won't be too bad. And if it is bad, you'll have to just try and play non-competitive games. And then once you finish with remote play, just go and press on the cross. And what you want to do is make sure you click on put the connected console in rest mode and then press OK because then it'll be left in rest mode um, so you can go and connect to it again in the future. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.